Hey, Rumbug World Entertainment, and our review for episode 4 of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. This episode is a little slower in pacing than the previous three, but it focuses a lot more on Kentaro and May. It's more kind of their backstory. We've no flashbacks to the 40s or the 50s or the 60s or whatever, uh, so there's no younger version of Shaw. It starts off in Montana. In 2015, uh, there's a woman who seemingly is a part of the monarch monitoring for titans by the looks of it. And she picks up a weird signal. And it just goes from her directly to where we left off last week with this new ice titan uh, chasing, or about to chase, Shaw and May, Kate and Kentaro. Um, so what the woman in the desert picked up was the signal from Alaska and the signals is radiation of course um, but it's radiation she said you see mainly in pulsars so they're not quite sure how that works all the flashback stuff um, is only to a year before 2015 so we're in 2014 when Kentaro uh, met May for the very first time it turns out he was an artist and he was going to have his first art show and he was outside taking a photo off his poster and may walked in front of him right as he took the picture and she thinks he took the picture of her and he brings her to a, this secret whiskey bar and they hook up that night and whatever all that stuff was a bit it slowed it down a bit uh the, the character may she's not that interesting and whatever the actress's name is uh something Clonmine or something whatever her name is I can't remember she's not very good she really isn't so it was a bit disappointing that the episode really kind of focused a lot on her uh, Gontaro's fine but she's she's just not a good actress Um, the person who keeps phoning her turns out is her sister and uh, you know the person who she seemed to be talking with in a couple of episodes ago uh, It yeah it turns out it's her sister she has a sister Um, when where back in 2015 with the big new titan chasing them they hide in this cave uh, type thing and it's above them on the ice you can see it through parts of ice but may is standing on frozen ice which cracks and she falls into the water up to about her knees and um, so now they're gonna have the problem of she's gonna start freezing hypothermia and all that good stuff Shaw wants to go towards the coast because he's not sure what will be there but he's pretty sure if anyone's on this place that's where they'd be. Kentaro wants to go and find what he had saw, seen from the plane when they were going down. He thinks he saw a structure. They don't particularly want to go with Kentaro's lead but they do and they end up in an area where there's just nothing and they're like you know we're we're kind of we're not finding anything you know you have, you have a great imagination but we're not finding and they see this weird blue light coming up out of the ground off in the distance and they're like we can actually see that that's what we should go and towards um, and Katara's like we have no idea how far away that is the structure I'm looking for is closer so Shaw pretty much says right look if you want to go go you go that way we're going this way if you find what you're looking for call for help will do the same thing so he does he goes off on his lonesomes and the other three go towards the blue light um there's nothing really to talk about with the flashback stuff between Kintaro and may it's just it's it's just them kind of getting to know each other and hooking up that that's it um and he was told his father was going to be at the, the art show and he kind of skips the art show to hang out with May. So while there Shaw, May and Kate are going towards the blue light that they can see. Kentaro's wandering out and he's kind of getting trapped in a storm now. And he starts hearing things. He can hear all their voices. Then he starts seeing things. He sees May lying beside him. He collapses in the snow and he sees May beside him. And then he has these weird visions. Um, that goes to a flashback. Shaw, Kate and May end up, the blue light was right next to the tent they were already, they've been going in circles 
And that's what Shaw says, you know, Titans do weird things to the areas they're in. You know, the storm that we flew through. Now we're walking in circles. But they have to try and get a fire lit to warm May up. So they're burning uh, Kate and Kentaro's father's work, like the papers. Shaw doesn't particularly think that's a good idea. He's like, you know, this could have vital information. Could tell you where he is, all this. And she's just like, look, just burn it. And the Titan comes back. And that's when Shaw realises the Titan isn't following them. It's following the heat. It attacked the plane because the engine was burning. It's attacked the camp now because they had a fire lit. All that kind of stuff. So he realises how they could possibly defeat it. And he finds what's called a bladder from the plane, which is spare fuel. Aviation fuel. And he's just going to pour it all around and light it up. So while it's attacking the fire they can run. Kintaro starts waking up in the snow and hears his father and then sees his father. His father walks past him and he sees then he's telling him not to leave him and he sees the pencil shavings in the snow and he follows it and he does find the structure he was looking for. It seems to be an abandoned outpost of some sort um, but he's seeing it as the art gallery that he was having a show in and he there's a radio in it and he does manage to call for help right as uh shaw's about to light the fire the titan comes up out of the ground starts chasing kate and may as they're running and while shaw's talking and just before the titan comes up out of the ground kate can hear a helicopter and once the titan comes up they start running to try and get the attention of the helicopter shaw's trying to light the fire um it almost gets may may falls and it starts doing that air sucking freezing thing and she holds up the bag with the her laptop and stuff in it Shaw lights the fire it explodes Titan sees it comes uh, sucks up all the, the fire while they run to get into the helicopter and Kentaro's on the chopper he, he managed to call for help the forward too far because we're just at the end now we'll go back a little bit because the woman in the desert who said or montana wherever she was who gave them the sig uh told them about the signal coming from alaska that's the monarch place um that she's telling with this the woman who's in charge there and she has all the team there and she's showing them this and the guy uh tom or tim whatever his name is um he's on a computer screen and he they blow him up and he's a bit bitter because the people in the room ignore him and he's basically saying like if Shaw's there, Shaw knows something, you know, that we should all be trying to figure out what it is because they're titans, you know, there's titans and we're meant to be figuring out everything we can about them because they haven't seen a signal like this since the San Francisco event when Godzilla showed up. So when the chopper's flying, Kentaro says to Kate, you know, Dad's alive and shows her loads of um pencil shavings. They were next to the radio. So clearly he got out. But when the chopper lands, the door opens and your man, Tom, it's either Tom or Tim, is standing there and he goes, Colonel Shaw, and Shaw looks up and he goes, it's an honour to finally meet you. And that's where the episode ends. So everything but with Shaw and the Titan and stuff is interesting. That's fine. But it's all the relationship crap between Kentaro and um, May that kind of slows it down. You know, if, if that, like, it's interesting to find out a bit more about Kentaro and stuff. It's just, the character May, she's not good. It's not that she's poorly written or anything, it's just, the actress is terrible. She really is. She, yeah, she just can't emote. And she's a bit snotty in this episode as well. Like, when she's with Shaw and stuff, she's just a bit bleh. It's a bad character and it's a shame that this episode's kind of really focused on her as much as it did but other than that it was fine you know as i said everything with shaw and the titan fine um it was just that end of things was a bit slow and kind of it doesn't completely ruin the episode but it does slow it down a bit because although you're learning about kentaro you really don't learn anything about may which other than she loves whiskey it's just yeah so with that that's where the episode ends. We'll have to wait till next week for 
I'm so sorry. I've no idea what days these things are on. It seemed like they were going to be on Wednesday nights, and it wasn't. It, it didn't show up for me until yesterday evening. So I have no idea. Well, when the reviews are up, they're going to be up, <laughs> obviously. Um, so just keep an eye out. And with that, I will leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.